Hey everybody, what's up? I am Adam Richmond, host of ITV's Barbecue Champ. You may know me from Man Vs. Food, and I am indeed hot until I die. Welcome to Spurred On, and this is a list of my top five favorite Spurs players. Now, my number five player is someone that was exciting to watch, and I actually had the privilege of not only meeting him, but sitting beside him at the lane and watching a game with him, getting his perspective on it, both as a player, as a fan of a club that he contributed to, and that would be a plucky striker named Jermaine Defoe. Now, one of the things I really loved about Jermaine, he's a tough guy, despite his stature, he always found space, never backed off of a challenge, and one of the coolest things ever, we were watching a game, and it was a Euro League game, and he was referring to a certain player, and he goes, see, he don't know what it means to wear the shirt. And for me, and for, well, everyone here behind the camera, anyone may be watching this, wearing that shirt, coming out of the tunnel with a cockerel on your chest, and hearing, come on, you Spurs, as one of the Lily Whites, you know, that's, that's the dream, you know? And to wear that shirt is such a tremendous honor, and to know that a player who contributed so well to Spurs really understood that honor. Well, Jermaine, it's an honor to have you in my top five, brother. Now my number four player, well it's kind of odd that he's my number four because he's always one of the first ones I cite in terms of players I love at Spurs. Raphael Vandervaart. Now obviously a world-class player, but also it was his just emotion that he brought onto the pitch. Winning meant everything to him. He got the North London Derby, got what was at stake. And look at any picture. If you look him up online, if you go to the lane, if you look at any image on the wall, it's him just wearing his heart on his sleeve, living and dying with every possession, every touch, every goal. And it's just such a pity he's gone. But I honestly loved watching him play. I was lucky enough to meet him once in New York. And uh, my number four favorite spur. Rafa Vandervaart. My number three favorite Spur, I never got a chance to see play with the exception of some grainy black and white footage, but his impact is known for anyone who knows what Oder Est Fasser means or knows what the hashtag TTID means or, well, quite frankly, ever really loved the club or wants to recreate the miracles of the 60s. And that would be our import from AC Milan, Jimmy Greaves. One of the things that I've always loved about him wasn't just the fact that he was this highly prolific goal scorer or the fact that, hey, at that point, we could still draw players from AC Milan. But if you watch the way he plays, it wasn't about curves and fancy things. Sometimes he would even almost pass the ball into the goal. That it was about using the right amount of effort, working smarter rather than harder. But also, it was pretty cool to see a superstar wearing a cockerel on his chest. So my number three favorite spur, Jimmy Greaves. You've heard number five, number four, and number three of my top five favorite Spurs players. But you see, that's the cool thing about top five. There's five of them. You've heard three, that's the end of part one. If you want the other two, gotta watch the other half to catch number two and number one of my all-time favorite Tottenham Hotspur players. This is the second half of my top five favorite Tottenham Hotspur players of all time. So number two, well, 